A couple of months ago, I installed these wood chip pathways in our garden, and I chose wood chips because I wanted a material that was relatively inexpensive, readily available, and effective. Effective in not only protecting our soil, but blocking the weeds from coming through. And I know that we have a lot of harsh weeds here, like Bermuda grass and yellow nut sedge, weeds that are not gonna be blocked by just a simple layer of wood chips, even a thick layer of wood chips. So rather than just doing that in every one of these beds, I chose to try three different installation methods for these wood chips to see which would be most effective in blocking weeds. And I have a full video on that that I'll link in the description and at the end of this video. I'm Kyle from Urban Farmstead. and In this video, I'm gonna give you a two month update on which one of those three methods work best for blocking weeds in our garden and hopefully give you some ideas on what you might try in your garden. So option one was just lay down a thick layer of wood chips. And it's amazing the amount of people who have reached out to me and said, just put down a layer of wood chips right on top of the soil, that's all you need to do. It's gonna suppress those weeds, it's gonna feed your soil. But as gardeners, we know that just because something works for somebody else in their garden, doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work for us in our garden, and this is a perfect example of that. Now, this is the area where I just did a five inch layer of wood chips. That's a significant level of wood chips. It's very thick, and it suppressed most of the weeds. But as I said, I've got some very harsh weeds here. I've got Bermuda grass and yellow nut sedge. And what you're seeing here and everywhere here is yellow nut sedge. Now this stuff will go crazy. It'll come right through. It doesn't matter that I have this five inch layer of wood chips. So I tried it. I put down this layer and look how deep this is. It goes way, way down here. But these weeds are popping up through it regardless. So option number one of putting down just a thick layer of wood chips, it didn't work for us and the weeds that we have in our garden, but if you have mild weeds, it might work well for you. The second method that I used here was to put down two layers of cardboard underneath this wood chip pathway. So I have five inches of wood chips again, but underneath it, there are two layers of cardboard. And as you can see, this pathway looks a lot more clear than the previous one without the cardboard. But I do still see some of this yellow net sedge coming through. Again, I don't see any other weeds. So it did a really good job of suppressing the more mild weeds, but tough weeds like this yellow net sedge are still coming through. So let's see just how it's coming through. Maybe it's growing on top, I don't know. So I can see the cardboard here. And it looks like it's actually coming up through this cardboard. So although this nut sedge is coming right through these two layers of cardboard, there's certainly way less nut sedge in this pathway than there was in the previous pathway that didn't have any cardboard. So while it's not blocking 100% of this nut sedge, it's stopping a lot of it. And it's doing a great job of blocking all of the other weeds because I don't see any other weeds in this pathway. And previous to this, there were quite a few. And finally, option three, a thick layer of wood chips on top of weed mat. Now underneath these wood chips, there's a layer of weed mat, weed fabric, the material that's actually designed and created to suppress weeds. And honestly, to me, this one looks the best out of all of them. I can still see a couple of these yellow nut sedge coming through, but for the most part, I see almost no weeds at all here. You can see some on the edges here, but in the middle of the pathway, there are pretty much no weeds. If you look up here, there's a big row of yellow nut sedge. So you can see that it was still growing in this area before I installed these pathways. So at a glance, this was definitely the best option, but let's just see what it looks like down here where the weeds are coming through. How did it get through this weed fabric? Thank you. 
So once again, this nut sedge was able to pierce right through my weed block. And so I think the consensus at this point is that nut sedge is gnarly and it's gonna go through just about anything. But of all the pathways, this one has the least amount of nut sedge. And once again, it doesn't have any other weeds coming through. So this weed block did a really good job. It even blocked all the Bermuda grass and everything else. So weed block for the win in my garden. There are a lot of different options for weed blocks. Some are thinner than this, some are thicker than this. So find a good one and lay it down if you have gnarly weeds. Well, that's it for this two month review of the three different installation methods that I used for these wood chip pathways. I'm really glad that I chose different ways because I was just gonna probably use uh, wood chips on top of some cardboard for every pathway, but I wanted to see which one worked best, not only to see which one worked best for me, but to give you all an opportunity to see what might work well for your garden. And I think the takeaways from this video are that there was a significant difference in just putting the wood chip straight out of the soil versus using two layers of cardboard and then using actual industrial grade weed block fabric. Um, big difference in all of them. But what's also important to remember is that it really depends on what's gonna work best for you and your scenario. If you have pretty mild weeds, you don't have some harsh stuff like this yellow nut sedge and Bermuda grass that we're dealing with, you can probably get away with just putting the wood chips right on top of the soil. That's gonna be the easiest, the cheapest method, and they're gonna break down and feed your soil the best. Now, if you have some weeds that are a little bit more harsh, maybe you wanna use the cardboard method. And if you have really harsh weeds and you just wanna be done with them, put down that weed fabric. But that brings a whole nother level, which is if you have really harsh weeds like these, they're gonna come through regardless. We saw a yellow net sedge coming right through two layers of that thick weed fabric. So maybe it's just what's gonna work best. There's no ultimate fix for every scenario. Either way, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit subscribe. Take care, everyone.